what is up so i haven't filled any lifestyle in like a hot minute well like gym bro things day in the life um so i'm gonna do some of that today mostly i've just been too lazy too busy life is chaos right now got some meal prep going though i've got I'm making some beef and then i also have some asparagus then I'm going to air fry for my pre-workout meal today. I have a massage here in a little bit, which is much needed because I am wrecked. Everything hurts. So I'm excited for that. Just to be able to move again and not be in pain. Like my sleep quality has been super crap because I just hurt. Everything just hurts. So doing that. Um, and then I've got back day today so i'll probably do some deadlifts and some pulling stuff like that i also got a tiny a tiny puppy it's currently eating something i don't know what um quit dude stand by if anyone was curious he was eating the trim on the sliding door so that's that's cool 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 but yeah, I finished um, my first 10 week bulk. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of like a four week, give or take mini cut, see where things are at. Um, I think we're gonna do another maybe 10 weeks, give or take for a bulk. And then we are gonna slide on in to prep. I think we're planning on doing a local -ish show June 8th around here. So I'm excited. Things are gonna get spicy. Gonna have a whole new package and yeah. It's gonna be good. So I'm just leaving the gym. I had my deep tissue massage and then a quick little back day. So we're really good. Um, if you're not getting some kind of like deep tissue work, chiropractic work, grass stand, cupping, whatever, recovery work of some sort, highly recommend. You're missing out. Especially like the deep tissue work um, and stretching. He just, it hurts. Like it hurts the entire time. And it's like the most painful hour to hour and a half, but, but very, very, very worth it. Like afterwards, I feel fantastic. I feel like everything's a lot like um, loosened up, opened up. Um, I'm not as tight. I don't hurt as much. Um, I've been having a lot of issues with my like uh, hip and shoulders and lower back. Thank you to my job. So that's super cool. Um, and this just, yeah, makes just all the difference. I don't know why people can't walk on the sidewalk. There's a sidewalk. Why don't you use it? I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we're really good. And I ended up uh, doing rows instead of deads today for my back day. I just didn't want to irritate and inflame um, everything that Chris just fixed. So did that. So it ended up being a super solid day. Um, slow, steady, working on mind, muscle, nice squeeze and hold. Uh, yeah, so overall, really, really good. Solid back day. Back day and shoulders probably tied for my absolute favorites. Like, if I could just only train those every day, all day, I would. I should just go be men's physique competitor. No, no. <laughs> it's fine. They'd never know. It's got short hair. You could put a prosthetic in. That's a thing, right? It's, no. <laughs> okay, anyway, sidetrack. I need to eat. So I'm going to go home and have my post workouts going to shower and get ready because surprise, I work tonight per usual. So So I only managed to film one thing of my workout because I forgot after the first big compound movement. So that's my bad. But I had a pretty decent shoulder day today. So my favorite, as I said before, back and shoulders is where my heart is. Um, doing my cardio Whoa. right now. Whoa. With the oldest mini is home. She has school today and then she has dance later tonight. 
which means no daycare today. The little one's at daycare, and then I work. Our Tuesdays are insane, insane. Anyway, I went to chiropractor. So I had deep issue yesterday, chiropractor today. Um, my hip was bothering me, so finally got that taken care of, as well as my lower back. Um, it was nice, because like the deep tissue kind of loosened everything up and allowed the chiropractor to really be able to get in there and do his thing. I also need to call someone back about getting some grass thin work done. Um, if not, I'm just gonna do what my coach does, YouTube and learn how to do it myself. So, adapt and overcome. <laughs> but yeah, going pretty good. She's getting her muscles. Crisis averted. Anyway, so I'm one week into like my mini cut. Um, it's going really good, I'm excited. Uh, to see kind of what's underneath a little bit of what we're just finished with a 10-week build, which went flawless. Very, very excited with that. So I had a four-week mini cut, and then we'll do another 10-week build. And then, like I said, so I'm going to prep. So just staying consistent, doing my thing, and excited to see what happens. So, <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. Um, I'm going to go get some grass and work done for the first time. Um, I'm going to focus on lats and quads today, see how that goes. Um, I'm excited because I know how much better I'm going to feel and look afterwards. I'm nervous because I know that shit hurts. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So one of the chiropractors here in town, we have like a bunch for a smaller area um one of the chiropractors here in town actually does it so i got hooked up with him through my buddy um that does my deep tissue work so should go good we shall see um whole new chiropractor and i feel like i'm cheating on my other chiropractor i'm just spreading the love and the business just all over the town just go to someone different for all the things but i think i think i have my deep tissue guy chris um i think i have him talked into hopefully um learning and starting to do that as well so then i can just transition into going to him um so it's nice i'll be going to someone who knows kind of what they're doing and is able to um really like basically show me what how all the things um, and so then, um, when Chris starts to learn, I can be his guinea pig and then be able to at least have some kind of like base to relay to him as far as how it's going, etc. It'll be good. It'll be good. So this is my before. <laughs> Hit y'all up after. All right. I forgot to post right after. Um, so the grass session went fantastic. Uh, it definitely was uh, super uncomfortable the whole time. Like there was a few times I was pretty positive I was going to come up off the table, but I didn't. I just got super awkward pain sweats, which I profusely awkwardly apologize for the entire time because it's my toxic trait. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he's mostly focused on quads and lats. <sighs> I could literally feel how like gristly and just gnarly my quads were um and by the time he was done they definitely felt a lot better a lot smoother um i could still feel it a little bit but it was overall um made massive difference and it was like instantly better like instantly um and he did the lats too which oof, he hit like the rear part of, like my rib cage and like on my side and stuff and that's that's when i thought i was gonna come up off the table <sighs> But power through, and again, amazing. Um, I did lats and then quads for my lift today. Solid, 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 solid engagement. I could feel like the mind muscle connection throughout the entire span of like my lats, like top to bottom. Um, solid squeeze, great blood flow, amazing pump. Like, seriously, I don't know why I slept on grass and work for so long. Um, I'm super happy that I found someone that was able to do it and then like I said have Chris eventually start doing it um as well so yeah overall 10 out of 10 highly recommend if 
you have the opportunity or availability or chance to do it, go ahead and do it, especially if you have any injuries, anything like that. Um, like I said, my quads feel fantastic, fantastic. So I'm excited. Um, I think for right now I'm going to do about once a month and then go from there. So I look <laughs> absolutely homeless right now, but I am doing all my meal prep. Um, I just started my second round of building after a little four week, like kind of mini cut type thing. Um, but I have a medical conference all day tomorrow and I'm actually going to a local NPC show. So I'm getting all of my stuff ready as long as some other meal prep um, that I need to get done. And we've just been cruising through the to-do list today. As far as food goes, so I needed to make some more fish, made that. I got some of my meals here ready for tomorrow. Got my bag at some of my other meals already in there. Um, those ones are fresh, so they're kind of cooling off yet. Got greens and peanuts that I go in my chicken, which is my last meal for today. And then I just got to finish getting packing. <clears throat> I've got the littles packed and all my stuff ready to go for the morning. Ignore my disgusting stove because I've been cooking and prepping. But I'm going to close out this video. It's been, I don't even know how long of just a hodgepodge of all the things. All the things. And some British Baking Juniors. I'm obsessed with this show. Alright.